guys, it's Lori, and we decided to go out and about today, and we decided to come by Divine Wine, because, you know, everybody loves wine, and with us is Brad. Now, Brad, start to finish, how, how does the wines here at Divine Wine, how do they become the stuff we pour in our glasses? Actually, the way it starts, I get out everything in as a concentrate. Mm -hmm. From there, I'll rehydrate it, which means, you know, add water. Actually, we've got an excellent water system here. Everything is triple filtered, so it's not like just opening up the right. tap or <laughs> dumping it in. But no, we have an excellent water. What I'll do is rehydrate everything. Uh, then I'll take my original specific gravity, record that, add my yeast, and let it sit for about two weeks. By then, hopefully, if my yeast is happy, uh, it will have brought everything down to a better point. From there, I can take, you know, my ending gravity, and from there, calculate the alcohol content. Okay, after that, that, that process takes about two weeks. From then on, depending on what I'm making, it'll take anywhere from two more to six more weeks, depending if I add a fruit flavoring, or if I'm working on a varietal that may require oak or anything like that. Uh, yeah. It, time is your friend. So, oh, wine. since you yeah. technically don't have wooden barrels, you just like throw oak chips in with the wine and let them. More or less, like yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, it, cool. it serves the same purpose. And then, you know, one, once the time is up for its born on day, I'll filter over to another tank, and you know that's what we've seen that I've been doing earlier this morning is is bottling. So everything is filtered and then bottled. So one of these containers, how many bottles of wine can that make? 168 on average, about 14 cases. That's awesome. Okay, and I did notice over here, these things are awesome. Do they fit like in water coolers? Like you can just take it home, dump it in your water cooler and uh, have wine never right there on tap? Got, I've never gotten that crazy, <laughs> but yes, that's actually more or less the same type of bottle. Little water bottles are normal plastic. These are nice glass ones. But these are some of my experimental things. This one is Pinot Noir that I've added some peppercorns to. Ooh, a so spice we're gonna to it, see, huh? Yeah, we're going to see how that turns out. And I've also got some others, a Sangiovese that I reserved back for a blend. I've got a Merlot with a vanilla bean in it that uh, we're going to try out here in the next few weeks. So this is see. your laboratory and you yeah. create. Yeah. <laughs> now, if somebody wanted to come in, can you help them create their own very personal wine that's their wine? Sure, yeah. If, if they have an idea of what they want, uh, we can either make it on a you know small scale like this instead of these large fermenters. I've got these buckets here that will start you know, something out in each one of these to you know, take it through, through this. And it, one of these, uh, depending on what we're making, it they'll, they'll make about 28 bottles. Oh, good. So, so. In, in essence, they could come in, this is what I want, this is kind of how I want it to taste, and how long does it usually take from that thought process to the end? Well, for